Hi everyone. Well, today I thought I would do a video on my experience with Fashion File. And if you're not familiar with Fashion File, it is a website that sells authentic um, luxury goods. They can either be used or brand new with tags. And there's several sites like that out on the market. I just chose to go with Fashion File because I really appreciate their descriptions and their pictures are always exactly the same. So it's like you send your item to them and they take the pictures. It's not um, someone taking the picture so you don't know how detailed it is. So for instance, you can sell your item to Fashion File or you can purchase. So it explains all that on the site and I will definitely link it below, but I've heard nothing but great things about Fashion File. So I have made two purchases from them recently. One is something brand new and the other is something uh, pre-loved Loved, but pretty much looks uh, brand new and I'll share my reasons why I decided to go with them and then also just kind of my experience with uh, the company as a whole. So if you watched my uh, luxury wish list video, I had mentioned some items on there that I was wanting, um, specifically a Neverfull GM. I have two other Neverfulls and I was wanting the GM in um, the monogram print for travel. However, the price on it has went up so much and they come with the pouch now that I just can't bring myself to purchase that brand new right now. Maybe I will eventually, but considering I'm not sure how much I would use the GM size, but I knew specifically I had mentioned I wanted the little pouch because I used the one from my Damien Azur Neverfull a lot on vacation. So I wanted the little pouch in the monogram. So went on Fashion File, had been looking a while, well I happened to come across one and it was brand new. If you're not familiar, a lot of people that buy the Neverfulls now with the pouch they think you can't use the pouch or you know what's it good for and they often sell them so a lot of times you can find them brand new as soon as they get the bag they're selling the pouch to me i find that silly you can use the pouch for so much you can use it as a clutch which i often do uh, running errands, you know, almost like a little mini wallet if you want. I just found a lot of uses for it. So I happened to come across one that was brand new. So it looked like exactly that. Someone had probably kept the Neverfull, sent in um, the pouch, and it was a really good price as well. So that particular item came in a bag this size, and you can see it has the fashion file on it, and then there's a larger one behind me that I will talk about. It does come with a file that actually says fashion file, which I think is so cute. They included their calendar, which has items, you know, from their site. So really pretty calendar with different pictures on it. I really like this a lot. That's like a really nice touch. You do get um, a thank you card and you do get a little card. Sorry, I think I've put both of them up for both of my purchases. A um, card with your receipt and also um, the it's guaranteed for a lifetime that it's authentic. So that's another reason why I really like Fashion File in particular out of a lot of the other companies. Uh, out there doing this is that they guarantee it's authentic. So if for some reason it's not, guess what? You can send it back to them. But they already have went through the steps guaranteeing it's authentic before they even put it on the site. So that's something I appreciate. Even though I have a pretty good eye, there's just some really amazing fakes out there. Um, and I would hate to spend the money thinking I'm buying something authentic when it's not. So you also get that, which I love. And it comes with tags on the item that if you decide you wanna send the item back, leave the tags on, of course. It's one of those, as soon as you cut the tags off, you own the item. Uh, so everything comes in this paper. So the item was in here and it says used is the new new, again, in that. And then all their items also will come this inside a bag. So I like that, I don't know, just like an extra measure of protection. All the details will be different. Some things are sold, you know, with all the items with them. Some things are not sold with all the items. You really gotta read the description. Again, this was brand new. So, and then it comes in a dust bag. Now, some of the items may come in their original dust bag and they'll disclose that. And they usually put that with the item, but they always give you one of their dust bags, which I think is great because if your item didn't come with a dust bag, like mine did not, you get one. So this is what I ended up getting, and I actually still have the tags on it because I've not used it. I don't plan on returning it, but um, these are the tags that come on it. And again, it just has like the uh, number, the item number, and certificate of authenticity. So I love that, and again, if you remove the tag, you own the bag. So I was able to get a pouch, and 
in the monogram, which I love. I'm really looking forward to using this. And another reason I, and of course, it comes with the textile card in it. And what I really loved about this one, and you're not gonna be able to see it, it's not gonna zoom in, this was actually stamped Made in France, which for Neverfulls is something really hard to come by. Once in a while you may get one, or maybe this was purchased somewhere else. Neverfulls and Speedies, among some other things, are typically made in the USA. Um, so if you're buying in the US, you're typically gonna get one made in the US. But as soon as I saw that that one was made in France, I mean, I scooped it up. Not only was it a great price and a little bit better than I had seen private sellers selling them for, the made in France and it was brand new. Like never used, brand, brand new. I scooped it up. So I'm really excited to have the pouch. If I do end up getting a brand new one at some point, I can always sell that pouch then and keep this one or sell this one and keep what came together. So you get what I'm saying. And I've been keeping my other one from the Damia Azure Neverfull in here with it. So that's what's cool. I love this um, dust bag is that both of these will fit in there together. And I think that's probably how I'm gonna house them um, because I use them separately. I don't necessarily use my other one when I'm using my Neverfull, if that makes sense. Sometimes I do, but they both sit in um, the dust bag. So I really like that because I think I'm gonna take both of these on an upcoming trip with me. So okay, the large box right here, same thing. It came um, with the calendar it came with the file it was packaged really well like the item set right here and then they have all this stuffing around it so it doesn't move so again packaged really well with the clear bag and then um the bag i purchased was in this and it's kind of a similar story with this one um i had saved this one i saw it it was a really good price um, you know, several hundred dollars under retail. So I was saving tax and a little bit of money, but yet the condition was excellent. The pictures, you know, I mean, it said, now they, they give you details that I, I think they try to be overly, uh, critical so that if you get something, you're not surprised like, oh, it has a water spot or it has something. I'm telling you when I got this bag, it was even better condition. My husband both looked at it and was like, you got to steal. This is like a brand new bag. One reason I got this, I'll show you what it is. So I ended up getting a Speedy Damier Azure in the 25 Bandelier. And I love that it had just enough patina to it. I don't know if you can tell how white it still is. Like this is the patina I like. It's just started to patina, um, but it's not like real dark yet. It's not real like stark white like when you first get it from the store. Again, another reason why I snagged this one, it's hard to find, especially with speedies, you're not gonna see it. It's made in France. You, that is so hard to come by with speedies. I mean, I could not, when I saw it was made in France and in this excellent condition, it was like, how is that still there? I'm telling you, I'm loving this bag. One reason why um, I got this is again, if you watch that luxury wish list video, I'd say, you know, I wasn't really a fan of Speedies all along until they came out with this version. And I'd always wanted a Damier Ben because that's my favorite print. I love the Damier Azor as well. But the more I kept hearing about people talk about the strap, you know, when it's that coated leather being uncomfortable, it just kind of turned me off and I'm thinking, what if I don't like it? So I thought, you know what? I'll get it in this with the, you know, untreated leather strap that is more pliable and nice. And, you know, I think that'll be more comfortable. I'm telling you, this thing holds a ton too. So another reason why I bought this one, I will put it down here. Another reason why I decided to purchase that bag pre-loved is because that bag was made in 2014. So basically what it looks like when I got it is somebody, and a lot of people are this way with Damia Azor, so it doesn't surprise me that that bag is in excellent condition. People get it and they're afraid to use it and it sits in a closet. And I think that's exactly what happened with that bag. It came with the dust bag, the lock and key. I mean, it was seriously like getting a brand new bag that maybe you just set out and let it patina slightly. 
um, because like I said, it has the very nice, very light patina. And they even said there was a couple watermarks on the handle. And I'm telling you, I don't see anything wrong with this bag. I have went over it with a fine tooth comb. It is seriously like a brand spanking new bag. And that's what I think probably happened with this one. Somebody put it away, didn't use it, and they decided, you know what, let me sell it. Because I see that all the time. I see people talking about that. I've had, this is my third Dami Azor bag. I've sold one and then I have the Neverfull. I don't baby them a lot. Of course, I don't take them out in the rain. I'm a little more careful because they do have so much Viketa. I have never had a problem with um, color transfer. I know a lot of people talk about that. So let me get back to a 2014 is why I wanted this bag. A lot of us have noticed the quality going down or being up and down with Louis Vuitton and the canvas. It's like sometimes you get something, it's really thin, sometimes thick. I know I can tell from my bags from several years ago feel different than things I'm seeing now and the quality issues of some of the peeling and um, I don't know, just issues like that. And I still know that I need to do a video on my Louis Vuitton bag drama, the bag that I got was defective, had to send back and all that. It's a long video. <laughs> so let me know if you guys still wanna see that. But that bag was defective and it's just, I don't know, I just feel like there's too many quality issues. The canvas isn't always the same. I know my bags that are older compared to the bags I bought a year ago, they feel different. And this feels exactly like my older bags because again, it's 2014. It's almost like I feel like 2014, 2015 and older. I don't know, it's just, I wanted something a little bit older and I knew obviously I couldn't walk in a store and get that. So it's like everything kind of the stars aligned with, it was several hundred dollars off retail. It was practically brand new. It was made in France and it was a 2014. It was like all those things that I'd really been considering that I wanted was in that bag. So I was like, you know what? I think I'm really gonna regret it if I don't get it. Ordering from Fashion File has been fantastic. Um, the only negative, if I feel I can give something, is their shipping seems a little slow. So the shipping's a little slow, but you can track it. It just seems like it makes a ton of stops along the way. It takes almost a week to get it, so if you're wanting something quick, don't order from that because it won't be quick. But they do tend to ship it out um, like the next business day, which is good. But again, it just takes a little long to get there. Um, you do have to sign for it. I believe both, both of my packages came FedEx, but I did have to sign for it. And the only thing, I think both of them came a day later than the projected date. Like it says, oh, your package should arrive. I'm pretty sure both of them were a day later. But that's really the only negative I have, if you wanna even call it a negative, but I just wanted to mention it. But again, what I liked about Fashion File is their descriptions. They tell you right away, it gives the details, and then you know it has the condition of the bag. It'll say excellent, good, um, or what have you. And I like that they're very detailed in the description. It'll say, um, you know, the handle, the bag, the, all these things, like if there's anything on them. I love the description. And then each one of their pictures is kind of the same. They take all the same shots and you can hover over and it really zooms in so you can get a really good look. But again, if for some reason you get something and you don't like it, you can send it back. Again, if you leave the tags on or if you keep it up to a certain amount of time, they'll even buy the bag back for you for a certain price. It gives all that on the site. And again, they they have brand new things on there. I looked at a couple of Chanel bags that were brand new with tags on there. Now, some things, if it's a hot item, guess what? It's gonna be exactly as retail. You're just gonna save tax on it. Some things, if it's a really hot item, you may even see it only like $50. Like there are some bags on there because maybe they're sold out online or they're very popular bags. You're not gonna get a huge discount. Um, they do discount them the longer they've been on the site. But what's also great about places like Fashion File and there's other websites is if you're looking for vintage items or uh, limited editions, a lot of times people are selling them on there. So again, I'll put the information below, but I just wanted to share my experience, let you know I've had two really good experiences. One item brand new, the other pre-love, but 
pretty much excellent condition. And I've been really happy about that. So I just wanted to share. If you guys have purchased anything from Fashion File or if you have any questions that I did not um, get to, definitely leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.